Hi, I'm Paris, back with another heater review. Now this is not a room heater, it's a personal heater. It will keep your fingers and toes from freezing without doubling your electric bill. Epic review guys. Yes, the Lasco My Heat is a little small. It puts out just 200 watts of heat, but it's not how many watts you have, it's what you do with them. It goes for about $20 and you can find out more about it at the link down below this video. So if you're thinking, mm, I wonder if that might work as a room heater, don't think that. I read the reviews online and some people have used this as a heater for their pet enclosures for turtles or hamsters to keep the temperature in that small area up so they don't have to keep the whole house heated during the day. But 200 watts is not going to heat your room any more than having two 100 watt light bulbs on. Here's the My Heat. I got it in blue, but it does come in a variety of colors. On the back, there's the air intake, there's a small fan, and then the heating elements are in the front portion. And the cord is better than six feet long. If you're looking for high-low settings, or a thermostat, or a timer, you won't find any of those things. There's exactly one control switch, and it's right here. On, off. The grill doesn't swivel, so you can't turn it to blow the air in different directions. You just have to turn the whole device to where you want the air to go. Now, if you're wondering, why would you get such a low wattage heater? You can get a room heater and heat the whole room up. Well, I reviewed one of those, and the two settings on it were 900 watts for low, 1500 watts for high. So over the course of a day, so depending on where you live, you could go through a dollar or two worth of electricity with that heater. This 200 watts, you could run it for about seven or eight hours and it would use as much electricity as that other heater on high in one hour. It's plugged in. Let's see how it goes, how it sounds too. Can you hear that? Heat, where are you? Oh, I feel it now. Just takes a little while to get going because the device itself takes a little bit to heat up when it only has 200 watts to work with. I'm feeling heat. I'm feeling the heat here on my face. What are we at, about two, two and a half feet? Now I do kind of wish I could angle it because I would like it to blow down onto where my hands would be on a keyboard. This is sort of blowing right over where my hands would be. But putting my hands in the flow of air from it this side, this hand's a little too hot. And over here, this little pinky says, where's the heat? Also going to move it, there's no handle, but then again, it's not very heavy. The plastic around it is cool touch, so I wouldn't even know it's turned on. The, that plastic, I guess it's plastic on the front as well. Around the edges, I don't feel it hot, but it's definitely hot right around here. I wanna to try to put it more in front of me, blowing towards me and see how that would be for keyboarding. Okay. That's better, being a little bit further back and having it blowing directly towards my hand. I can feel some of the heat coming out of it and blowing around my fingers. But it's not really warm. It's best when I have my body as a backstop against the table here because then the heat bounces back off and it creates a pool of heat right here. So this is what a small area of heating we're talking about with this personal heater. It's only going to be maybe three feet out from you and a foot or two wide. I have it down on the floor now, blowing on my feet. Again, from the side, one foot's getting really warm and the other foot's a little chillier. But that backstop idea, if you have a desk with an enclosed space underneath for your legs or a cubicle that has the walls, if you can stop the warm air from blowing away, it'll tend to pool and heat up that whole area. And the My Heat does have overheat protection, so if the vents get blocked, the temperature of this raises too much, it will shut itself off as a safety feature. Does not have tip over protection like the heater that I reviewed last week, so if it tips over, it's still going. Now, if that blocks the vent enough that it raises the temperature, it will shut itself off. Otherwise, depending on what surface it's fallen onto, things could be bad. One minute. Starting now. And see whether it shuts itself off from overheating. If not, I'll pop it back up and use my infrared thermometer to see the temperature of the table right where that heat's been blowing. 75, that's more reasonable that the table would be about 75 otherwise. It's been one minute, still going. It smells warm. I think the fact that it's on a hard surface, enough air is escaping out the sides that the temperature isn't raising enough to shut it off, at least not yet. Worst case scenario would be a thick carpet or a towel or a blanket that it fell onto because then very little air could get out. So, okay, it's been over a minute. Let's check the temperature right there. 
106, 149, 145, toasty. So as they say in the instructions, you shouldn't leave it running unattended. Having it about a foot or so in front of me, blowing right on me, the upper part of my torso, my face is getting very warm. My legs are cold, however, so I think this is definitely a personal heater, but I don't know that it could heat your whole person at once. For my taste, the Lasco My Heat is a little bit underpowered. I don't want to say it's for the birds, but I would like maybe 400 watts of power, and I wish the grill would let me adjust the airflow at least a little bit up and down. Basically, this is the only angle it's going to blow the air out, and I understand maybe it's a fire hazard. They don't want you turning it and blowing the hot air right down in front of it, but you do need to get it on your fingers if you're going to keep them warm. Maybe it's just enough and it's just what you need. If so, you can find out more about it at the link down below this video. But if this is even more than what you need, on Santa's Pick Saturday, I'll be reviewing an item that heats up only about this much of you, but it's the part that keeps you feeling warm no matter how cold out it gets. See you on the next review.